Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Sir Owen Disney here on a Thursday evening. I just got back from Red Lobster, and it was the first time I've ever been to Red Lobster, and thumbs up. It was awesome. The food was excellent. These cheddar biscuits, phenomenal. I love the fish and chips. They're really good. And I got this awesome dessert, which is kind of like a, a chocolate chip cookie with like chocolate lava inside with ice cream on top. It sounds amazing. I cannot wait to eat it later. So in about 30 minutes, once this video starts, and ends, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm going to eat that, and then I'm going to watch Impact, and I'll recap Impact for you guys for tomorrow. So, uh, once again, before I get started, I do want to thank everyone who has watched my Halloween Horror Nights video I shot for last night, and it was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing, and, you know, sometimes those are the best videos, really, actually. So, thank you guys for watching them, and thank you for subscribing, and I also want to thank uh, Psycho Masker Films and uh, Dr. Emmett Brown for uh, being subscribers to Pop Now. so welcome, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the ride, and like I said, if you like the Halloween Horror Nights videos, I'm going to continue on that, we're going to talk Universal, we'll talk Disney, there's a lot of wrestling on this channel, there's a lot of movies on this channel, a lot of music on this channel, and all points in between, so a lot of stuff still to come here on Pop, so... Hope you guys like the new uh, logo. Um, you're not seeing it very well right now because the resolution kind of sucks. But once I'm able to figure this out, it's going to look awesome. And once everything is together, then it will be posted. Right now, it's kind of jumbled. You can kind of see what I'm going for, but it's not quite there yet. So once I get it there, then obviously we're going to have it posted as the channel art here for Pop. So once again, thank you for that. Now, another thing I want to get started on, uh, Sunday is actually going to be a big taping day, a big taping day here for Pop. Uh, Will's actually coming over about 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm actually getting him out of bed that early, and uh, he's coming over. We're actually going to shoot a couple of the uh, Will tutorials, so you'll be seeing those in the next two weeks. We've got the Will tutorial this week for the Arkham franchise of the Batman video games, and that's going to be this week. Next week, uh, Will's got some Will tutorials in mind. Uh, I know what they are. I'm not going to tell you guys which one they are yet, because I don't know which one I'm going to put first. So that's coming. We've also got to do Santa with Muscles for Mr. Flashback. So Will's going to bring Flashback with him, and uh, hilarity will ensue like it always does. And Sunday night, we are going to uh, film AJ's Movie Reviews. And I'm very sorry we're not able to get these videos out on Friday or Saturday night. Work kind of fell in the way, and you know what? I need the hours, and I appreciate the hours, so it's not a big deal. And we're going to work this out as quick as we can and still get you guys out the video Sunday before the weekend so you can go out on Monday night or Monday afternoon or what have you and uh, watch the films if uh, we deem them necessary to be watched. So we're going to be watching uh, Epic and Fast 6 on Sunday, as well as I'm being dragged to that god-awful Todd Phillips movie. Which, I'm very glad it's the last one. So, there's another reason. I have personal reasons for not liking the series, and I'll try not to bring those up during uh, the review. AJ even said he wants me to make sure I sit away from him, so uh, I don't uh, influence his decision. If he wants to laugh, he's going to laugh, obviously. Because I'm probably going to be brooding the whole time, like I have been the, the last time I watched it. And given the situation I was in the last time I watched the first movie... Yeah, um, I might ha should have a little bit of a like for the movie, given the fact, but I don't. I hate it. I think it's a god-awful piece of garbage, and they should never made the first one. Definitely should never made the second one. I'm glad it tanked in the box office, and I really hope the bad reviews really push this film over the edge, and that means we'll never have to hear from this crap again. Bradley Cooper and, uh, oh god, I forgot his name. Oh my god, it's been a long day. Bradley Cooper, who am I trying to think of? Ed Helms. Good God, I'm sorry, guys. That brain cramp there. And uh, basically, uh, the rest, John Goodman, he's slumming it for this one, but I'm very glad to see John Goodman. John Goodman is awesome, but, I mean, I'm not really big fans of the rest. Um, Justin Bartha is okay, I guess. I hate Ken Jeong with a passion. I really do. I just, I hate Ken Jeong, period. It's not just the characters. I mean, I don't think I like the guy personally, honestly, because he just annoys the living daylights out of me. So, but there's that. I mean, if you like The Hangover, then, uh, yeah, you're one of the LCD, and I don't like that. So there you go. Well, um, now that I've alienated at least 15 of you, <laughs> sorry about that. For those of you that are still with me, we're going to be talking more Universal today. And news broke yesterday about the worst-kept secret Universal that doesn't have to do with the Transformers or Harry Potter, and that would be The Simpsons Expansion, coming to the Midway area by The Simpsons Ride at Universal Studios Florida. 
And we've heard a lot of news, there was a lot of rumors, and basically we finally got official answers yesterday because we saw the facades were up with the signage and everything. So I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to see in the Simpsons expansion at Universal Studios. So basically what we've got, there's a lot of things that everybody's saying were supposed to be there. We are going to get a Duff Gardens, and it's going to probably be a VIP area for a Cinemagic... Wow, God, long day. Spectacular? Cinematic Spectacular. I said a Magic Spectacular, sorry. Wrong park. But uh, basically, that's going to happen there. Duff Gardens is actually going to be serving Duff. Now, I don't know if we're going to have Duff and Duff Dry or Duff Light. We know all the Simpsons beers we've had over the days. But I also don't know if there's going to be a Duff, maybe a non-alcoholic version for people like me that don't drink so they can get their Duff on and still not have to worry about the alcohol. And another thing I'm really excited about, I'm not a drinker, obviously. I'm going to food and wine this year at Epcot for the first time. I'm not a drinker whatsoever, but I am kind of interested in seeing if I can get myself a Flaming Mo. Yeah, I'm very interested to try that. And it's only a Flaming Dr. Pepper, but still, cough syrup is one heck of a thing. Now, that's one thing that's coming. Speaking of Moe's, we are getting Moe's Tavern, and it looks phenomenal. The facade of the Simpsons area looks incredible. Everything all the way down to every single detail. I mean, we got the Lard Lad Donuts guy, we got Chief Wiggum's police car, I mean, the Jebediah Springfield statue, which I still haven't seen yet, but I'm sure it'll be there. And there's so much awesomeness that's coming. And let's talk about here now, there was a rumor that Kentucky Fried Panda was actually coming to uh, what, in, what took up the uh, International Food and Film Festival area. Of course, we know that they got rid of that and they're going to reopen it for a Simpsons-style restaurant experience, like different, like a Simpsons food court, basically, is what it is. And basically, there's a lot of people that were talking up Kentucky Fried Panda. Well, they're not doing that. Kentucky Fried Panda, I don't know if that would go over very well and with different cultures, obviously. So, uh, they 86 that idea. And uh, Taco Italiano, um, General Chang's Taco Italiano, it's uh, not coming up either. There is going to be a uh, Mexican-style fast food restaurant, but we'll talk about that later on. Now, there's also going to be a flat spinner ride. Um, Kang and Kodos, the aliens, obviously, they're going to be... That's the theming for the ride. It looks awesome. And it's going to be right outside in the Duff Gardens area, close to the Simpsons ride. Maybe probably closer to Men in Black, to be totally honest. But it's right on the waterfront, so there's actually going to be a lot of awesome stuff on the waterfront. And if you think I'm done with Universal, oh no, I still got to talk about Diagon Alley sometime. And I'll do that later on, but obviously, I got impact in about 20 minutes. So uh, I want to get you guys a video out before... Uh, I started watching Wrestling Night and make my notes like I always do, and I'll shoot you guys the Impact recap for uh, tomorrow, right after I'm done. So, everything is all okay right there. So, another thing we're going to talk about right here is I'm going to go directly to this. Now, Krusty the Clown and Sideshow Bob are apparently going to be face characters, which is going to be awesome. I mean, costume characters of Krusty and Sideshow Bob is going to be amazing. There is going to be Duff Beer, like I mentioned earlier, and here's another thing that we're hearing as well. This is basically like a fast food boulevard. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to call it, but it's like a fast food boulevard. And we've got Shelbyville by the Sea, as well as you are going to be able to get a Krusty Burger, and I'm so excited to be able to eat a Krusty Burger. It's going to be awesome. It's kind of like... Um, for me, I'm not a big Simpsons fan, but I do enjoy the show for what it is. I mean, it's probably something that should have died a long time ago, but because it's not as nearly as funny as South Park or Family Guy is. Family Guy is kind of waning off, but South Park's still absolutely hilarious. But um, I know, again, 15 more people. Bye-bye. So, um, that's okay. No problem. If you guys don't like my opinions, obviously, just you're not going to watch, so it's not a big deal. Obviously, someone's going to care. So, like I said, it's going to be called uh, K and Kodos Twirl and Hurl. And apparently it's supposed to take foolish humans on an intergalactic spin designed to send them into orbit. So this is going to be very themed towards Simpsons marks, obviously. That's exactly what this area is for. It's not for people that just watch the show once or twice. That's what the Simpsons The Ride is for. That's what The Ride experience is for that took over for Back to the Future. No, no, this is actually for the hardcore Simpsons fanatic that's going to understand all the different intricacies from this area, all the different things that you thought you'd never see brought to life and a lot of the things that we see at Universal in Hollywood. So we're going to get the flying, the flying, wow, Frying Dutchman, which is finally going to open. That's going to be awesome. And uh, Luigi's Pizza will be part of it. And there will be a Lard Lad Donuts, which is going to be awesome. And uh, instead of Taco Italiano, it's actually going to be themed towards Bumblebee Man, and it's going to be called Taco Fresho. 
So uh, that looks really cool. I'm very excited about this. And we just found out today that we're getting a Cletus the Slack-Jawed Yokel themed chicken shack. And that's going to be awesome too because got to get my chicken on. So that's going to be awesome. And it plays really well towards the Back to the Future style restaurant. They have a Doc Brown's Chicken. They have a Universal Hollywood. So it's pretty much that same direction I think they're going for. These are going to be really interesting restaurant experiences, and I totally can't wait for September so I'm able to experience them all. And hopefully by September, maybe a little bit of Diagon Alley will be my way as well. At least before the year is over, I think I'll be able to at least experience Gringotts Bank, whatever it's going to be, if it's a coaster or what it's going to be. But like I said, I don't want to get into talking about Harry Potter right now. We'll talk about Harry Potter another day, I promise that. Because... I wasn't thinking I was going to talk about Halloween Horror Nights last night, but I am. I did, and I wasn't thinking I was going to be discussing the Simpsons expansion, but it's new, so obviously i got to talk about it. So, um, the Quickie Mart will stay as is, and that's pretty much what we've got. There's going to be meet and greets uh, right next to the right exit of the Simpsons ride. You've already seen the area pretty much labeled off for it, and you know that's pretty much the only thing it's missing are the, uh, the queue line markers. So, uh, you know that's going to be a meet and greet, and God knows who we're going to be able to meet. I really uh, think it would be awesome to uh, see, like, Duff Man walking around Duff Gardens. Obviously, that's the theming right there. You have Krusty, you have Sideshow Bob, all the Simpsons characters, Ned Flanders, and Rod and Todd. It would be nice to see them in the parks. I mean, there's so many people that you could bring in from Simpsons Mantra that actually would be awesome as face characters. That would really help Universal really appeal to a different demographic. Because, obviously, costume characters appeal to a different demographic for different people. Obviously, you have, like, the cartoon characters... Like the Spongebobs, if you will. But then you have the Simpsons, who are a completely different demographic. So it's really awesome that Universal is actually going to cater to both. The children and the kid in heart, and also the adults, as well as the preteens. So it works really well. So, I mean, that's what we've got so far. And we don't know anything more than that. And it's going to be really awesome. I guess the food carts that were around the area in World Expo are going to be replaced by Simpsons-style food trucks. So that looks amazing. I really can't wait for this. This is going to be really cool. And uh, it's a great time to be a Universal fan. I mean, obviously, we've got Transformers opening up soon. Got my... Uh, get that here. Awesome! Got my annual pass holder gimmick here in the mail. And basically, we know that there is going to be a opening very soon for Transformers. And that's coming any day now. And that's going to be awesome. And I'm not a Transformers fan, as you guys well know, but I'm very much looking forward to see how it's going to work. And mark my words, as long as I'm able to get away with it, you will see the queue line of Transformers on this very channel. And I'll make sure I shoot that in September. So you guys are getting Transformers with 100%. You're going to get Simpsons Area 100%. So uh, I'm probably going to shoot some more of Halloween Horror Nights next year, too, if I'm able to uh, shoot without being accosted by a character. So, once again, thank you guys for joining me, and uh, hopefully if you enjoy these Universal updates, I'll continue to do them, and we've got some Disney updates coming up in the near future. I talked a lot about Disney Springs in the past. Seven Dwarfs Mine Coaster is definitely progressing slowly, but surely it's supposed to open spring of next year, so hopefully we'll get an opening earlier than that. Guaranteed that it'll be open for my September next year, and I'm bringing my dad and my stepmom with me, so uh, that's going to be really fun. So, I'm going to get off here, and thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you for subscribing, all of you that have. And if you haven't, what's stopping you? Take these views out, tell your friends, and spread the word about the Popcaster Revolution. If you want to join us here on Pop, you're more than welcome to. Send me an email at surowanddisney at gmail.com, or you can tweet me at surowanddisney, or you can find me on Facebook at Owen Disney, and you can continue to watch the awesomeness here on Pop. So... Until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.